Sunday marks two weeks since Brian Blair officially took over as the athletic director at the University of Toledo. Prior to assuming the post, we had a chance to sit down with A.D. Blair to get to know more about the man at the control of Rocket Athletics. Words that have been used to describe you are rising star, servant leader, and dynamic person. But how would you describe Brian Blair? Yeah. Well, none of those words came from my wife. I guarantee that much. <laughs> um, those did not come from her. I, uh, I, I think I'm a fairly humble person. Um, I, I really shy away even from hearing those kind of things just because I, I don't think of myself that way. Um, I, I know I've got a title now and a position and I'm a leader, but I, I really just try to serve other people. Um, and if I can help you get the best out of yourself, then I've done my job and I don't need credit for that. And I told the staff when we first met, we talked about a we versus me mentality. Um, and I mean that to my core. Um, that, that's me to a core. I, in my mind, I'm still that country boy that grew up on the dirt roads of South Carolina um, and didn't have a lot, had two parents that loved me a whole lot um, and was able to play some football and get some opportunities that maybe some others didn't have and go on this journey of college athletics. And now I get to serve young people really in a crucial part of their lives, go from a wide-eyed freshman walking in the door to a more mature adult ready to tackle the world and be a leader themselves. Um, so when I think about myself, I don't know if I put words or caveats or terms like legacy and all that. I just think, okay, how can I help other people? If I can help other people, if I can help other organizations, if I can help the University of Toledo, the city of Toledo, our athletic department be their best version. That's what I want to be about. Is there a specific experience in which you had to struggle that's really defined that for you? Yeah, probably a lot of them, way more than you want to hear about today. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'd say probably the one that sticks in my mind, and I think I told you at my press conference, um, I run a test my freshman year. And back then, we didn't go to summer school before you came in as a freshman. You just came in as a true freshman. They mailed you a package physically in the mail. It wasn't email. Um, sent me a packet, say, hey, do this workout for the summer. I thought I was doing the workout. You show up first day, you do the running test. And in Spartanburg, South Carolina, in August, I mean, we're all of 100 degrees with probably 100% humidity. Um, we're trying to run. And I got halfway through it. And I was like rethinking life at the moment. I was like, okay, is this going to work out? Um, and one of my teammates came up beside me, put his arm behind me and said, hey, let's do this together. And he ran his test and then came back and ran my test with me. And that was always stuck in my head of somebody seeing somebody that's got more in them than they think they do at that moment, putting your arm around them and saying, hey, let's go that extra mile. Let's do this to get to where you want to get to. So then to go from there to be a team captain, be a starter, all these other kind of things, that didn't happen but for that teammate right then putting his arm around me. That's how I envision my role as athletic director. Um, and whether it be somebody on campus, whether it be a student athlete, whether it be a coach, administrator, or new business in town, how can I help them be the best version of themselves? How can I put my arms around them and help them achieve whatever their goals or dreams or aspirations? So I think when you do that, that's fulfilling. That, that, I, I believe that's where happiness comes from. Um, I think helping others and seeing their success, that's how I get my happiness. And you can watch the first part of our sit down with Brian Blair on our website, bcsnnation.com.